Hi, how you doing? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a realistic looking rainbow using Adobe Photoshop. So this is the after picture and you can see that it does look real. It really, really does. So there's the before, there's the after and you can see it blends in really, really well. So I'm going to go back to the beginning, walk you through the process. As always, this is a really, really simple and easy method and it only takes about five minutes to do. So the first thing we want to do is come up to our layers panel and we want to come down to the bottom and just create, click the new layer and that should appear at the top there. Then what we want to do is we want to come over to our gradient tool. Now this has been updated in Photoshop 2024, so it's a little bit different. It works the same, but just looks a little bit different. You want to come up to here and make sure that you're on gradient. And then in this drop down menu here, you'll see that you've got all these different options you've got the blues the basics you want to scroll down until you see legacy gradients click on that and then come down to where it says special effects click on that and then you'll find the rainbow gradient on the end there so once you've selected that make sure that you are on the second option here so the radial gradient that's what we want and also make sure that the reverse is ticked off so the colors are this way okay now what you want to do is come down to the bottom of the picture and just draw a line up and you'll see there that's the new gradient that's the way it works now actually get a live view of what's going on so if you let go you have a few control options here at the side you can squeeze this in so you can extend it out a little bit and if i just zoom out a little bit more you can see there that I can squeeze that right in and bring it out as far as I want. The other option that you've got is to actually come into where the colors are, where these triangles are here, and we can bring them forward and push them up. So what this is gonna do is just enable us to add more of a particular color. So you can add more green, you can take the green out and blend it a little bit more, and you can actually pull the color as well. So that will fade it in a little bit more. So you can play around with that until you're happy with whatever it is that you want. Once we're happy with that, all we need to do is come up to here and click on the layer mask, and then we wanna come over to our brush tool. Make sure that our brush is set to black. So just bring that down to the bottom there, press okay. Come up to the top where the brush is, select a soft round brush. And what I tend to do is just bring the opacity and the flow down a little bit, and then come over and we just wanna blend in and take out anywhere that that gradient is overlapping. So for instance, around here. So we just want to take that out. And the reason why we drop that opacity is just so we get a better blend. Otherwise it will be a very, very hard edit and you'll have a hard line there. We don't want that. There we go. So that's looking good. And we can see there on the gradient fill the layer mask where we have actually taken that area so once you're happy you can boost this up and then go over areas you know that you're not going to be hitting the actual rainbow so just to make sure we've got rid of everything there we go so the next thing we need to do then is come up to the gradient here and we want to change the blend mode so click on the blending option there and let's bring this down to screen and then we want to come to the fill so this is going to give us our realistic looking rainbow, so to speak. So this will just fill in the areas that we want to keep. So you can see there the opacity will, you'll be able to see through the rainbow. So what I tend to do is just drop the fill right down. So depending on your image, it will vary massively. So what I like to do with all the stuff that I edit is go from one extreme to the other. So it sets your eyes and then you can sort of gauge it a little bit better of where them colors need to be. So we don't want to go too mad. We still have another couple of steps that we're going to use just to bring this down a little bit more. I reckon around 40% looks pretty good. That looks quite natural. So the next thing we want to do then is just come down to the bottom here and we want to select a hue and saturation adjustment. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create what's known as a clipping mask. So the, what it is is this little square with an arrow down here. So when we click that, you'll see that this little arrow appears at the top here. So what this means is, is that this adjustment is only going to affect 
the below layer it's not going to affect the background image so we're just making adjustments to the rainbow okay and what we want to do is we want to increase the lightness so by doing that we're almost blending the rainbow even more so we're just actually making it brighter if we go 100 percent you can see we pretty much get rid of all the color that's there so obviously we want some color but we don't want it to be so strong that it looks fake like it does here at the beginning so we just need to again gauge what will look most realistic on our picture and i think with anything less is always more so if you're if you think that your rainbow is too strong then it probably is so i think what looks natural is somewhere around there just think about where rainbow would naturally appear so when you're choosing a picture just think about naturally where a rainbow will appear okay so once we've done that we can then come to our background image and what i like to do is just have a play around with colors because at the moment now if we just come to our history and click on the little camera tool you can see there is the before and there's the after there's the one that i've done a minute ago that's what I've just done with you guys. But what is really, really nice is that if we come down to our background layer here and if we select color lookup, what we can do is come to here where it says low 3D look and we can add some color to this. So we could add like a foggy night look that can look quite nice and give us a little bit more of a dramatic look. We've got night from day as well, which would be more of a, a blue. So I think I'll stick with the foggy night. That looks good. And I'm going to create a clipping mask. So I'm going to click that little square with the arrow down there. And what that means is, is that it's only going to affect our background layer. And then with this particular adjustment on this, this foggy night adjustment, we come to our layers, which is up here, our fill again, we can bring this in. So again, we're just controlling the amount of that color that's coming through. So the idea with this is just to try and create uh, something that's a little bit more moody and a little bit more dramatic. Something like that, that looks pretty good. So if we come to our history now and make another snapshot, you can see there's the before. There's just adding the rainbow, which is more than acceptable. And then if you wanted to add a little bit more drama, you could just by adding a little bit of deep blue in there. So I think that looks really, really good. So it's as simple as that. That is how you add a rainbow into your pictures. So I hope you enjoyed that. Take care and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.